Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Gemini for the month of June. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't uh, sound like your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there, but if not, simply check back with me in the following week when I put out new messages for your sign. So at the heart of your reading, you have the Ace of Shields, the Princess of Cups, and the Lovers. This is somebody, this is somebody uh, who I feel that you had a relationship with. Somebody, this was a relationship that you believed was over. Um, possibly you haven't had any news from them for a while. Um, and suddenly, bang, a message out of nowhere. Um, sudden revelations. It feels like the window of chance or opportunity could be fleeting uh, with that ace. So there could be some pressure or you feel like it might slip out of your fingers if you don't jump on it, you know, but you don't want to uh, be too impulsive. Um, it could also be, I feel like this here is this energy of the other person who in the past may have um, made an impulsive action, may have said things um, without thinking or did an action without thinking. That uh, prince has um, a tendency to be reckless, um, not to think things through. Yeah. Um, this is somebody who takes targeted action. They're more about the outcome than the process. They can become or or be a lot about the self, like self-focused. Um, they can be judgmental. Um, if they get bored, they can just up and disappear. They could have just up and disappeared in the past and you never heard from them. They may have ghosted you. Or uh, this was something that uh, ended quite badly with um, things being said. Either way, the thing is that this person, that's the way they were, but they come in appearing to be somebody else, but yet they're the same knight because that's the same card, but they have two uh, completely different meanings. And so now they come in as a helper. And this is what is at the root of this decision. Have they really changed? They, it appears like they want to try to uh, restore the relationship. Yeah. And so they might want you to take this leap of faith on them for this new beginning. Again, we have our Ace of Wands and the High Priestess. So there's information that you don't have or you feel you don't have uh, in order to take that leap of faith having to do with this new beginning. Um, you are having an extremely hard time to um, make a decision here. Uh, having to do with an offer. Playing your cards close to your chest because you feel maybe they're not telling you the whole truth or you just don't have enough information um, to make a decision yet. This can begin with love messages.
again, it's like a, you're getting an opportunity here, another chance possibly, and you are very tempted by it with the lovers. But with this page here and that night there, this person um, possibly has commitment issues. and therefore might not stay, you would be uh, wondering if you have any more to give to this relationship or if you want to because um, you, you think that there could be things going on beneath the surface that, that it's not uh, as it appears. So you're not trusting really what they're telling you. Um, Clearly, there are some um, profession, like a profession of love going on here. Because I have it over here also. Yeah, see, uh, this next card is the false prophet. And you're going inside with the grail knight. Seeking your answers as to what the truth is here with this. It's like a peace offering that is coming from that person. But are they for real? Can you trust them? Or, you know, does this person have bad intentions? That's what you want to know. And that's why you're not jumping into this right away. That's why you're going to be careful. Yeah, you see, this Queen of Wands here, she knows. Oh, she, she's very intuitive and she'll feel, she'll feel it. If something's wrong, uh, wrong or off. Although, you know, you would have a very strong attraction to that person. Um, this is what you're aware of, most likely, because we have the Three of Cups and the Three of Coins here. So the Three of Cups is that uh, reuniting, getting together. Uh, you or they can be playing the field. Um, so you might think that this person is playing the field. Uh, this can indicate a lot of flirting going on. And it can indicate a third party, possibly, in the picture. Now, um, the three of this um, is that it can indicate that you may soon have more than one suitor. Okay, so you could have more than one option. So this person might not be the only option, which, you know, maybe that's why you have the, the, the page of cups twice. Maybe another option comes into the picture. But uh, this, uh, this card here asks you to bear in mind that uh, the person... You might have a couple of options, but the the person who whom you're interested in may also have similar options. So um, there could be somebody else in this picture, or it could simply be saying that that you are uh, you have a feeling, possibly that uh, that person has more than one interest that, you know, that they are playing the field. And so there is communication here in your future about uh, something you see that came to an end. But uh, it it is not really over. And so this card can be like, communication that uh, perhaps brings hope that maybe it isn't really over because you thought for a time that it was, you know. But you've been betrayed by this person and there's been many disappointments with this person. And so what would the consequences be with the Melodomantum here? Now, that is the card of justice and the justice says, Look, you know, you need to look at this logically. 
especially with this sword being here. Look at this logically. Look at the facts. You've been dreaming of this, but you never thought it would happen. And now it's, it's happening. You longed for this person, but you never believed that you would see them again or that you would have this chance again. And it is a challenging uh, one. And you are having, with this card, is somebody who's having an extremely difficult time doing what? Making a choice here. And again, you have that possibility of two people, of uh, three people, excuse me, different choices or two choices. This could be that you have two choices also, shedding light on whether uh, you should walk away from something that, you know, it didn't serve you in the past, that it didn't fulfill you in the past for whatever reasons. And uh, it ended up that you did uh, go separate ways, that this relationship, this person has deeply uh, caused you deep pain, has broken your heart with this uh, Three of Swords here. And so the question is, what to do about this relationship? And, you know, maybe, maybe in the past, this person judged you. Or maybe you judged them, like, whoever's energy this is, right? So it feels like you, it's like you thought that was over. Suddenly, this person just comes out of nowhere or a message comes out of nowhere and they're back in your life. They're like right back in your life with a new offer. So you were planning on going one way and now suddenly you have this offer and maybe you even get have an offer from someone else or maybe you're going in a direction with somebody else and bang, this ex <laughs> suddenly reaches out to you. You got to make a choice. What do you do now? Now you must make a choice. And the lover's card would say that um, this is an emotional choice. This can be a lover or you indeed were uh, a lover or a possible third party. And this card says that it's like, you, it's like somebody, they're standing right at the entrance to the Garden of Eden and they are tempted to enter. So you're tempted, you're wavering on the verge of. On the verge of taking the hand that is offered. And so planning to go in one specific direction, suddenly you get a chance at something that, that you desire and that would take you in a completely different direction. So now you must choose. You are at a crossroads here and you will have a very difficult time in making this choice. And whatever this is, you were not expecting it. And you want to know how to make that decision? Justice says use logic. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.